Welcome to Social Elo Ministries, where we are committed to glorifying God while exposing the devil. After a long and much anticipated wait, the Lord finally allowed me to go see my bride. I was excited to get a close look and maybe get a chance to speak with her. But what I saw didn't come as a surprise, but it wasn't good. Something was different about her. She literally looked like she was being held in bondage. But I couldn't even address her the way I wanted to. The thing is, she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready at all. And even worse than that is, the people who were entrusted to get her ready had failed. And then those same people labeled me as being a false prophet, someone who um, meant her no good. But during the entire time, I just stood there. Because I was putting my father's hand for him to vindicate me. In his time, of course. When I left, as it was more like I was kicked out, I ended up among some messengers of Satan. And you'd be surprised how people will say, Lord, Lord. And the evil things they'll do while using that name. The suffering was immense. It was intense. But the entire time I was thinking about my beloved. But she wasn't ready. And it's amazing how a disciple could one moment be saying godly things and the next moment it was like the devil himself was speaking through that disciple. But there are people who knew better and to this day they haven't said anything to exonerate me. Nothing at all. And that was a lonely feeling. That was a lonely feeling. But things got worse. I felt like I died in multiple ways. I felt like I died in multiple ways. <laughs> Jonah spent three days in the belly of a whale. And it was a foreshadow of things to come. I ended up in a dark place too. For three days. But I cried out to the Father before that. And I asked him if it was truly his will. Because. For as much as I love my bride. It was almost like that was, that was too much to bear. <laughs> that was too much to bear. But I thought it would be worth it in the end. One of the greatest things or my greatest pleasures is to please the, the Father. It doesn't mean it's always going to be easy. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's always going to be easy. And it's like I feel the weight of the world on my shoulder. <laughs> I was beaten about in so many ways but throughout it all I just kept on thinking about my beloved that one day the father will allow me to be with her and no devil will stop that from happening because when the Lord plans and ordains something he brings it to pass. 
but I never knew how much suffering I would have to endure for the one that I love. The one who has made an indelible heart or an indelible mark on my heart. Even though I was bruised and battered, I still thought that in the end, it would be worth it. But since then, I've had to keep my distance, waiting on the Father to say, now it's time. But there's going to be hell to pay. There is going to be hell to pay for those who refuse to repent for the things that they did. Again, it is amazing how people say, Lord, Lord, but they're not truly serving God. Now, I said all of that. Was I speaking about myself? Maybe. But I can tell you who I was definitely speaking about. I was speaking about Christ, the bridegroom, and his bride, the church. She is in a horrible condition. And it is a tough thing to see your bride being held in bondage. And knowing that those who should be taking care of her are the ones who are doing her the greatest harm. The ones who should be getting her ready are the ones who are tearing her apart. The ones who should be propelling her towards her destiny are the ones who seem determined to take her to hell. But that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen.